Want to say hi to everybody? Hi, everybody. What, what's coming? A train. Yeah, is it a big one? Yeah. <laughs> you can tell how excited you are about it, eh? Uh, you were a while ago. Plane? Don't be happy, though. Tell uh, me to go away. Well, you want the airplane to go away. There we go, there's another train. It's a city train. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a freight train. No. I thought. No. Oh, it's, it's still a train. That's right. Now it's Togo Hall. <laughs> you were all excited a while ago, now you're all, you want to go home and you want to... Well, today's your last big train uh, day before you leave. Yeah. You want to tell everybody where you're going tomorrow? I, I can't tell you. <laughs> you can't tell them? Why? Because it's a secret. It is? Well, I already told them. <laughs> So now it's a secret. Yeah, it's my baby's birthday. Hmm. Okay, but where are you going in the morning by bus? Uh, okay. That's right. Okay. Hey. I hope everybody's doing well. We're just out here for a little bit. Like I say, here I'll put it back on for a second. Just hanging out for a few minutes, me and my me and my girl. We're off camp for the first time tomorrow. We're gonna have so much fun. Because I'm scared of bears. You're scared of bears. You silly there's no bears, remember? We checked already. No bears. No bears allowed. Oh so yeah. We're just hanging out. It's hot. Decided to come on for a minute. Thank you. Yeah, we're having fun. We're just kind of nothing too, uh, nothing too exciting or anything like that. Just spending some time. I'm still trying to come to grips with the idea that she's going to camp tomorrow, and it's the best thing for her. She's gonna have a lot of fun. And since she's my only daughter and my youngest on top of that. I'll just stick with that answer and pretend that I'm happy with it, so. <laughs> but, what can you do, right? Eh? Like I said, there's not much really exciting. I thought we had a freight train coming. We just had a couple pass. We were watching for them. We said we'd watch for one more, and then we're going to head back and see Mommy after, right? Yeah! Yeah. I'm excited! <laughs> it is. You get on to go on a bus, and you get to go and swim at the lake, and all these great fun things. Yeah. You gotta watch you don't get her, you don't want to cross, and you don't get her feet caught. Yeah. Like, like yours. Yeah, that's true. You think mine got caught? Yeah. Well, I don't know about that. Yes, it is. I hurt my feet. Oh, there's a train. You can say hi to him. Bye. Say hi to the train. Bye. Oh, there, Audrey. ATH Travels says have fun at camp. Teach Rock says hi to you and me. Yeah. You say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. Well, you got to look at the camera. Yeah. Like I say, guys, nothing too exciting or anything. Phone's gonna probably heat quickly here. We're just out watching some trains. I thought there'd be a CP rail coming any minute. We're really doubling up. We're right by the yard, so.
We miss you too, ADGH. Big time. Big time. Missed all you guys. Tonight, not be going on. It's Audrey's last night. Spend it with her. Probably be on tomorrow night. I think it's time for a good old shout out night. Get some channels going. Teeth rugs, uh, yeah. Some of the rash is gone. Feels a lot better than last night. And thank you guys for your patience. That's how excited we were to see you guys. It was not the most healthy night, but it was still good to be back with you. I don't know if you guys remember uh, Cody Wanner, one of our uh, guests from a couple of weeks ago. Um, he um, he was the one who had his video um, partly noticed with uh, Peter McKinnon. He, uh, with another girl, Audrey, they had, they had merged them together. And he ended up doing a collaboration with Peter McKinnon. And in a couple hours, he went from, I think he was at 2.8 thousand subscribers to 6.8 thousand subscribers. So it just goes to show you sometimes how quickly things can change for your channel. But always keep your channel in good shape because you never know when something like that's going to happen. You know, a really cool opportunity. And Peter McKenna just did a video this afternoon with him in it. Oh, there we have a jet too. We're right beside the airport. Yeah, it's pretty long. There are a lot longer. There are some longer ones that pass. I wouldn't be surprised if that one's heading to Brockville, Ontario, to the next big yard. We're uh, just down from the yard here in Montreal. About. I don't know, a kilometer away at the most from the CPN C rail and CN rail. And this is something we do. I do it more with Chris, but Audrey and I go sometimes with me. The thing I like about trains is it's a bit of a connection back to growing up in a rural area. It's like in the city, it's one of the few things that still feels kind of. mind uh, living in the city it's not, I mean, we don't live really in the city we live well yes but like not downtown but still not like uh, we're not living in a high-rise or anything and uh, I don't always miss everything from a rural area but this kind of gives me a bit of that connection and it's just kind of something to get out of the house and shoot I gotta get back going again there with my good camera I'm looking at uh, ordering the pieces today to build a new editing uh, station and uh, the cost is scary <laughs> it, uh, but it's time to start getting something better for editing. Uh, Kelly, how you doing? Uh, sorry if I'm missing anybody, I'm just kind of hanging out here. Yeah, the price is about three grand I guess before tax, I mean we'll get the tax from business but still. So yeah, it's a lot of money, but it's time to upgrade to something decent. Yankee, what's going on, my friend? You want to say hi, Audrey? Hi. Say hi to all the new people. Hi, new people. <laughs> I can't sleep. You can't sleep? No. Well, I hope not. It's the middle of the afternoon. Yeah. yeah, not dramatic or anything, eh? You my pumpkin, though? We're just hanging out, train watching for a few minutes. Should turn it on earlier. We had three trains pass, like almost one after the other. But we got talking. There was a rail fan here, and they're usually good talkers. And then uh, I got Audrey with me. She gets excited when they're passing, but then after one or two, she's had. <laughs> yeah, I thought you liked that Yankee. He's not touch. That's an Audrey moment. <laughs> And I try to be careful with that. Like, I don't want to... When I grew up in a rural area, I mean, hunted lots. I love it there. But then there was some, of course, that take it to whole new red, redneck standards that I just didn't want to touch. 
not knocking anybody for each their own, but that was the same as the city. I've lived here most of my adult life. But I don't want to be one of these, oh my god, I smell cow poopy types either. Like everything else in life, there's balance. You know, selling out is pretending to be something you're not. Balance is just realizing there's a time and place for everything. And that means enjoying it all for what it is. I'm not sure if it's the answer or not, but it's the only answer I've ever been able to come up with. Mia, how's it going? Good to see you. Hey there, Best Infotech, what's going on? You doing okay? Well, uh, my daughter's off to camp tomorrow, first time. And I got, like, I got an older son who's gone lots. He's 20, gonna be 21, and they're coming out. And our other son is 11. It's always different when it's your, your seven-year-old daughter, <laughs> the youngest one. So. Uh, oh, Jelly Duck, this is Canada. We're actually out just, you can't see it right now, but right behind there is uh, the Dorval Airport. It's back that way. Spots I like to come for trains. CeeLo, you take care of yourself. And like I say, we're probably going to do a shout out uh, thing tomorrow night. Because I know Xenia's going to want to keep me busy because it'll be the first day that she's gone. So mm -hmm. she's going to want to keep me occupied. So, but tonight we'll probably just spend it with Audrey. Terrell, what's going on, my friend? The original. Like I say, uh, we're still kind of on vacation mode. So we haven't started. We got lots of people who want to be interviewed. And once again, Cody Wanner. Anybody hasn't checked him out yet? He got on Peter McKinnon today. He did a video that he put up this morning of the two of them together. And Peter McKinnon put one up of him. And he had 2.8 thousand subscribers. And when I just checked a minute ago, he's up to 6.8 thousand. That's 4,000 people in a couple hours. That's how quickly things can change on this. Uh, Flash, what's going on? Out in the Dorval, neck of the woods, my friend. Yeah, just waiting for train. Just see if there's one more coming. We've seen a couple already. She's getting fed up of it. I should have filmed earlier when she's all excited. Because the CP rail, when it passes here, sometimes they even switch the engineers right here. Because the yard is just down below. So it stops in front. But like I said, it's just more hanging out with Audrey. Goodbye. <laughs> You're silly. Keep watching these red lights. The first two uh, tracks here on the left. They belong to CP. Well, technically three right now, but and on the other side there's two more and those are CNs. There's a new overpass they built last year to handle all the traffic going to the airport because it was ridiculous. For years it's been going through this uh, roundabout circle that goes under the highway. And, I mean, a nightmare would be a, a very, very small downplay of what it really was so that took a lot of traffic off of there the airport here is called the Trudeau International Airport the father of Justin Trudeau when he was Prime Minister which is kind of weird in the fact that he tried to kill this airport and make it for domestic flights only and build a new international one in Mirabel which is about 50 kilometers north which they did build, but they never uh, put up any. Um, they never put up any uh, high-speed rail or any connection. I mean, it was so far out of the way; it didn't even make sense. So, guess how that went? Fermo, how are you? And I seen. Uh, let me see what else I missed here. Uh, oh, H Castle. Oh wait, how you doing? Well, yeah, Nathan's Adventures. So good to have all you guys here. One cast, one fish. Hey, how's it going? Sorry, guys, I'm not so good at keeping up with the chat in this thing. For a she's going to uh, camp uh, up north. Uh, nice, it's up in the Appalachians again. It's be a lake and everything else and all that. So she'll have a good time. 
she'll have a good time when we listen to her, but she leaves tomorrow morning and then comes back uh, on the 20th in the morning, so. It's a good camp. They're like uh, one uh, coach to every four children, so. All right, babe. What are you going to do at the camp? Yes, and bug bites. <laughs> oh, hey, hun, how are you? I guess you found out we're on. <laughs> we're just hanging out here. Audrey's just about had enough. We had a couple of trains pass almost immediately, but we didn't film. And as soon as I turned on the camera, that killed it. There was another one backing down in the yard to. Uh, <laughs> no, hon, we're going home for supper. <laughs> we're leaving soon. Oh. Yeah. Doesn't look like anybody's coming. Oh, thank you. Yeah, like I say, not have it for much longer because it's no good for the kids, but kept it in good shape. Well, the guy died, he was 80 years old. It wasn't exactly like he uh, was too hard on it. It's pretty clean inside, I guess. I, I mean, like, it is clean, it's a good vehicle. Just, we got back from vacation, so. It's only got 64, well, 65,000 kilometers now, I guess. Right. <laughs> oh, teeth rugs coming to eat. Excellent. And I still haven't got a chance to clean off all the bugs from when we drove back from Gas Bay. It is perfect for a couple farm all you're 100% right. Truck kind of appeals to like the 25 and under and 60 and over. Because the back seats are the killer. If it wasn't for that. If it was an SUV, decent. It's a 2011. I'm asking 12 for it, and for instance, the other day when I was broke down River Duluth, I was at that uh, Ford dealer, and they had a 2011 with 58,000 kilometers, so actually a bit less than this, but it was only two wheel drive, and they were asking 12.5, so. Oh, <laughs> th thanks, H Gas, I appreciate it. <laughs> Yeah, we got another vehicle down there too. We got a 2010 uh, Chevy Malibu with 125,000 kilometers. Beautiful car, runs nice, but once again, with the snow we get in Montreal, and I can't have two vehicles, it's too much of a pain. And we definitely need something higher up. DR, what's going on? Sorry about missing some of you guys. Happy trails hiking. We are just hanging out, me and Audrey. <laughs> BNSF, how's it going? We had a train a while ago. CN Pass, but still pretty quiet here. There should be a CP coming any second. This is where they do the, the crew loading from the yard. Thank you, Happy Trails, yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about her going yet, but I think she's going to... Oh, but yeah, for a while, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I hope she takes some of her mother's. I'm going to chase you. <laughs> ah. Can't you me? I can't chase you with this. I'll fall on my face. <laughs> <laughs> MU for music, how you doing? Oh, thank you guys, yeah. She's my pumpkin. <laughs> oh, at least there's a breeze out here. 
She does look like Xenia now more. I find she's starting to change. I, I. <laughs> okay. Let's go for a walk. Yeah, she has her mother's drama. <laughs> right? Hey, it's right in the jeans. Right in the jeans, I tell you. Uh, that's right, Baltic Princess. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the end of it for now. And you know how it's going to go the moment I shut it off. But we better get running. Hey, Stavopol, how you doing, my dear? Sorry, guys, I'm going to leave, but like I say, Yes, Laj, I pray for that as well. I wish I had a tenth of that energy. If we can only bottle it. <laughs> Here, babe. Let's say goodbye to everybody, okay? Bye, everybody. Yeah, let's turn this thing around. Okay? So have a great day, guys. We'll probably be on tomorrow night. I think we're going to do a big shout-out. So uh, get ready. Check Twitter.